Yeah, some interesting findings in this report published in a publication called the American Planning Association, the Journal of American Planning. And they've taken a pretty in-depth look at, you know, at the spread of this virus and its impacts uh, all across the country over the past several months uh, that we've been affected by this pandemic and, you know, uh, during the quarantine aspects of it as well. One of the co-authors, Reed Ewing, uh, he says compact areas are more likely to provide access to health care and for folks who live there to follow social distancing guidelines, also reducing the risk of infection and in particular reducing the risk of death. Now, the researchers involved in this, they took a look at more than 900 U.S. cities throughout 18 weeks of the pandemic so far. Their conclusions are that population size played a much bigger role in COVID-19 mortality than the density of a particular city, with both large cities and suburbs being more dangerous than smaller areas like Salt Lake City. Our death rate is about 0.6 persons per 10,000, uh, whereas in these large metropolitan areas with the flow of people back and forth among counties, uh, they're in the two, three, or four person per 10,000. The study also seems to confirm what many folks have been saying all along, that those most at risk for COVID-19, they include African-Americans and minorities, the elderly, and blue collar workers. So uh, I would imagine too that this is a study that is still a work in progress because uh, the pandemic, uh, as we've been telling our viewers by the numbers here in Utah and across the country, isn't slowing down. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox News, Utah. <laughs>